Um, I think it was huge. Uh, what you call it? I, I don't think I realized or any of us realized the ball was at the 98 or the two. We all thought it was on the one, so everybody's just saying, you know, it's taking 99, man. And I mean, that's what we did. And the O line was just executed, <coughs> and everybody executed. And it was just a huge drive. And once we put punch on the board, you just feel it rolling. And uh, we stepped on. I mean, we just stepped on it and kept going. Front left, John. Josh. Coach, talk about the discipline you guys played in a game where there were a lot of uh, unsportsmanlike and uh, personal fouls. I was pretty pleased that you got you were the guys that were way at the low end of that. Um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased because um, you know I feel like we're way more classier than them. Um, you know, they try to take it to a level that wasn't playing football, and you know that we, we play football over here. I don't know what they do over there, but we play football, and they showed today. Standing left, Aaron. Right. Just a few minutes ago, your coach was talking about yards after catch with the receivers. How much of an emphasis has that been in practice, and why were you guys so, why were you guys so successful with that play? Um, it's all it's always been an emphasis, and uh, I'm like, I don't know, man. There's just something special about the vibe that we had today with the way Shay was throwing the ball in warmups, and uh, I mean, guys are just running hard. Everybody's playing so hard, and we just executed at a high level, and it showed. Angelique, front middle. I've got two. Uh, Ryan, we haven't seen you since the Penn State game. Balance the, the low from that game and then, and then the performance today. What's well, called the support that I got from my family, my friends, uh, this team. I mean, man, it was unreal and it's a blessing. And uh, they all they all picked me up. And uh, so I mean, like I said earlier, I owe these seniors big time. And uh, I'm glad I'm glad I was able to go out there and do that. And, and Josh, you just mentioned they don't. What, what was it like out there? What was how physical was it? It looked like there was a lot of extra. On our side, it was real physical. Um, I felt like this this defense, especially you know, um, we made a statement today. Um, we were playing real physical, and they tried to. It was to the point where we were playing too physical, and they tried to you know do stuff after the play when we weren't looking and stuff like that. And you know, it just showed today that you know we we were the better prepared team, and we came out. And we wanted to execute more than they did. Middle left, Rainer. Ronnie, was this offense um, looking like the way that you guys envisioned it when you first started implementing it? Is this the best representation of what the offense should look like? Uh, yeah, just the execution today all around and just with how hard everybody's playing, it was amazing. And uh, yeah, I, mean, I guess you could say that, yeah, just the execution though was just there. It was all there today. Time for one or two more. Go to the middle, Andrew. Ronnie, your teammates have said you're you're a very good teammate, but I'm wondering if there's any any frustration, even kind of in fun, that you don't have a touchdown yet. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, um, I don't know if there hasn't been a time yet where I came back to the sideline. I mean, even him, just like 20 seconds ago, let me know, like I still ain't got in there, and uh, <laughs> it hurts every time. But it's alright, I'm gonna get in there. Uh, stay in the middle, uh, Andrew. If you could pass it back to Teo, please. Thank you. Josh, it looked like after the game, you guys exchanged a few words with the Michigan State players. What were you guys, what was the discussion there? Well, I was telling them to go home. Um, <laughs> it's, it's time for them to leave. Um, they didn't deserve to be in our stadium. Um, I was just trying to wave them goodbye because some of them wanted to stay on the field, you know, and it was our time to shine. You know, we came out with a W, so we was just telling them to go home. Front row, all the way to the right, Steve. Josh, there was a moment after the burst interception where the crowd really got into it. There was chanting, and, and you guys were jumping up and down. About if that was sort of the, the point of the game where there probably wasn't going to be any comeback. Yeah, describe your emotions and the emotions of your team on the sideline at that time. Right, um, it was great because um, Ambry got the pick first, and then you know, he's from Detroit, you know, the Michigan rivalry, you know, it's really big to him. It's also big to Bert. And when Bert got his pick, you know, you can just feel you can just feel the intensity, you can feel it through him, and you know, the vibe that he had just went throughout the whole stadium, you know, from the field to the fans to the top row, whatever you whatever you want to call it. Um, you can just tell that this team, you know, knew what we did today. Middle row on the left, Brian. For either either of you guys, what has impressed you the most with how, how the team has responded and, and rallied since uh, the Penn State loss? Uh, I guess just uh, the execution, like I said, offensively, uh, and just the way everybody has just uh, kind of grown together and picked one another up and been with each other every step of the way, offense and defensively, I feel like it's that way. Okay, just a couple more. Standing left, Wojo. Josh, with what this with what this rivalry has been like, and certainly has been emotional and back and forth, 
Did you guys want to make the statement of winning by as much as you possibly could? Was that in your minds? Um, uh, I think, you know, just going through all, you know, how they played this season and how we've been playing these past couple of games, you know, we knew we could do it. You know, it doesn't have to be close. Um, it's football, and if you execute the right way, um, every play or majority of the plays, you know, you win by big margins like this. So, you know, we, we focused on executing these past two weeks and it showed today. Anything else for these guys? Last one. Uh, we'll go to the very back right. Zach, just give him a quick minute to get the mic. Josh, it looked like you gave the pregame speech right before kickoff. But I guess what did you say and then what was the vibe like pregame? I was just um, telling everybody to play their heart out. Um, you know, it was a big game, and, you know, we needed everybody on the sideline. We needed everybody on the field to play as hard as they could. And, you know, I just tried to make sure everybody was focused and willing to do whatever to win this game. Okay, thank you all for the time.